senior day at Beaver Stadium marked the final home game for 18 players. Guys like quarterback Daryl Clark and linebacker Sean Lee, both co-captains, enjoying their final moment in the Happy Valley sunshine. Perhaps the emotion of the day led to a shaky start for the 18th ranked Nittany Lions, who have never lost to Indiana. Chapel looks, pressure, throws, and this one, is it picked off? Let's see what the decision's going to be. The decision was a reception for Indiana, not an interception for Penn State. Just one of many things to go wrong in the first quarter. But the Nittany Lion defense stepped it up as Navarro Bowman came up with the first of several big defensive plays for him on the day. And the Hoosiers settled for a 27-yard field goal by Nick Freeland. Things would get better, but not before they got worse. Clark rolls out, throws, ball tipped in the air, and then it's intercepted. Indiana's got it. And the Hoosiers come up with the first big takeaway of the game, and they are in Penn State territory. Things not going Penn State's way thus far. Chapel's going to pass, looking to the end zone. Pass caught. Is it a touchdown or not? It is! Oh. Touchdown, Indiana. How about this start for Indiana? The Nittany Lions had not allowed 10 points in the first quarter all season, but they did not panic. The Hoosiers had been a quick start team all year. More than 107,000 were encouraged by the Lions' next drive as Clark showed his senior leadership skills, using his legs to get one first down and his arm to get another. His pass to tight end Andrew Corliss had the Nittany Lions in the red zone, but not out of trouble. First down to 10, they'll mark it at the 20-yard line. Clark, pass. Intercepted again, Indiana's got it. This is where Penn State's defense stood up and started to turn the game around. Indiana would not score again until the fourth quarter. Things had not started at all the way Penn State and its fans had expected. But the Nittany Lion defense stopped the bleeding. Steps up, throws, knocked away, and incomplete. Lee driving on the football that time. So the Hoosiers are forced to punt. Astorino 45, 40, Astorino to the 30, fumbles the football, and Indiana recovers. The calm leadership of college football's winningest coach helped put a lid on the insanity. Three first quarter turnovers would have been lethal for most teams. The Penn State patiently got back in the game before halftime. Evan Royster got into a rhythm and the Nittany Lions were finally putting together a scoring drive. Clark gets the snap, all out puts. He throws, it's Royster, 28. First down, 25, inside the 25 to the 21 yard line. Great decision by Clark against an all out blitz. Throws for Moy. And Moy incomplete. It's going to be a fourth down, and there's Wagner. And the 33-yard field goal by Colin Wagner is good, so Penn State gets on the board. Two themes continued as the game neared halftime. Indiana could find absolutely no running room against the tenacious Penn State defense. And the Nittany Lions' problems continued to center around not being able to hold on to the football. Low tumbling punt. It's stuck at his own 35. Fumbles the football and recovered. Indiana has it on the fourth turnover of the half. A dramatic turn of events. And his defense right now has just got to step up again. they got to stay disciplined. You know, don't worry about what's happening on special teams or the offensive side of the ball. Just come up and make a play here and force that field goal attempt and then they have. 47 yarders is no good. So Indiana comes up empty. But with less than a minute to work with, Penn State came up full. Clark hit Brett Brackett with an 18 yarder that also stopped the clock. And the Lions coaching staff had something up their sleeves for just such a situation. 24 seconds to go. This time. It'll end around. Drake, the true freshman's got it. Still on his feet. Inside the 30-yard line. Late flag comes in. Could have a face match. Tacked down to the end of that run. Clark waits. Clark screen to Royster. Royster 15 to the 10. Royster to the 5. Touchdown! Penn State and the Nittany Lions close out the half in style. Despite a sloppy half, Penn State never lost its focus and at least had earned themselves a do-over. The second half started from scratch and the defense picked up right where they left off before the break. But this time they weren't content with just stopping Indiana. They would make the biggest play of the game and it gave Penn State their first lead of the afternoon. Burns, play action fake, screen pass through the hands intercepted by Bowman. 30, 35, 40, Bowman to the 45, 50, Bowman is gone. 40, 20, the 
15, 10, 5, touchdown on the Nittany Lions defense, gives them the lead. Well, you're looking for a big play on defense. Well, Bowman made it here. Semifinalist for the Denard Award for the top defensive player in the nation, and he's showing you right there, 73 yards officially. And the Nittany Lions defense had settled in. First and 10 their own, 38 with a 17-10 lead. Clark, Royster, right side, Royster, block from Rizuski, 40, side steps to the 45, to the 46, he gets eight, what's coming, throws, it's caught by Suey, the 50, near side to the 46 of Indiana, first down, then you live. Although it was senior day, it also gave us a glimpse into the crystal ball, with underclassmen like Stefan Green and Curtis Drake contributing to the cause. Penn State dominated the third quarter. They had the ball for over 11 minutes and were on the verge of scoring again when they switched to the other end of the stadium. And Penn State knocking on the door, and we start the fourth here from Beaver Stadium. Clark turns, Weister to the left side, now to his right to the goal line. Touchdown, Penn State, the Nittany Lions cap. A 73-yard drive, 107,379 love it because the Nittany Lions have 24 unanswered points on a 24-10 lead. Senior linebackers Sean Lee and Josh Hall bid a grand farewell to Beaver Stadium. Those two combined for 18 tackles, and Lee broke up four passes. A major wrench in the Indiana aerial attack that put the ball up 52 times. Chapel goes back, Chapel with time, over the middle, incomplete, broken up by Nick Suke. And that's how you want a safety to play. These Penn State people know how to put on a show. I can tell you that from start to finish, before the game, after the game. Royster first down. Royster getting closer and closer to 1,000 yards. He needed 105 yards. Short drop by Clark. He sets, he throws. It's caught by Drake. 50, 45, far side, 40, 35. Cuts inside to the 30. Drake inside the 30 to the 27-yard line. But Curtis Drake is now giving us a glimpse of the future. Like a baseball pitcher that doesn't have his best stuff but finds a way to win anyway, the Nittany Lions tough this one out, surviving a lot of bumps along the way. But not enough to keep them from winning 19 of their last 20 on senior day. From the one, quarterback sneak, Daryl Clark, touchdown, Penn State. The Nittany Lions put it away. Closest out senior day with a win.